To the coronavirus now, we're here in the Sunshine State. 2,448 deaths were reported during the last week, which is a 4% increase from the previous week. Meantime, new cases continue to drop 22% this time, according to the Florida Department of Health's weekly report. But for the first time in months, we are seeing how many deaths happened county by county in a new White House COVID-19 report. The state stopped reporting deaths by county back in early June. The new data just released to the state from the federal government comes as one Central Florida state representative is suing the state for the release of data just like this. News 6's Nadine Giannis has the new numbers for us. Nadine? Well, hey, Lisa, back on June 6, the state of Florida stopped releasing daily COVID-19 data by county, instead giving us snapshots weekly, a report released each Friday. However, the state weekly report breaks down vaccination rates, positivity rates, and case count by county. Nothing in regards to deaths by county. That was until today. Yes, that data is back and State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith, who is suing for data just like this, doesn't think it's a coincidence. Why did you suddenly release this data? Just days before a hearing is set in the lawsuit, State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith filed against the state. COVID-19 death data broken down by county is now available to the public once again. It's the first time since June. That's not a coincidence. They're quietly releasing COVID death data because they've been sued. The data now found in this COVID-19 community profile report released by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and it breaks down the case and death numbers where you live. Take a look. The number of cases in the last week decreased in every county in central Florida. But deaths are up this week, the highest in Sumter, Flagler, and Lake Counties. But what we really get to see with this data is which counties suffered the most during the summer surge. And since the last time we had this data in June, it shows Polk had the most deaths with 544 since June. Brevard County not far behind with 532 new deaths and Marion County adding 466 new deaths. That's higher than even Orange County, which has the highest population in Central Florida. Seeing these deaths particularly in rural areas, is just really disturbing um, because, you know, we see how bad things really, really are out there. We shouldn't have to sue the DeSantis administration to get it. But if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. And that's why we're suing them. So Representative Smith is suing for even more data, including deaths by county, by age group, and pediatric hospitalizations. That hearing is set for Monday at 4 p.m. in Tallahassee. Now, less than 15 minutes ago, I heard back from the Department of Health in an email, a spokesperson telling me in part that they can't comment on pending litigation, but say they have been reporting data to the CDC since the beginning of the pandemic. You can read the full statement on clickorlando.com. In the newsroom, I'm Nadine Giannis, getting results, News 6. All right, Nadine, thank you.